I remember when my daughter was born. One of the first thoughts that came through my head as I held her tiny little hands in mine was the depth of, of love, of, of emotion, of connectiveness that I never really grasped until that moment. And it was quickly followed by the knowledge that if anyone ever tried to hurt her, I would destroy them utterly. It is a realization I think every parent goes through. It does not matter if you are a pacifist, if you are the gentlest creature on the planet. The minute you have a child, you, you understand the depth of intensity and darkness that you could go through to protect them. And that is the realization that Maddie and Travis are facing right now. It is something Daniel Salazar knows all too well. And he is a commanding presence in this episode. Number five of Fear the Walking Dead, Cobalt. Spoilers ahead, folks, as always. Reuben Blades really grabs this episode and guides it. It is a strong, powerful, moving episode. And while there's still not a whole lot of action, not that different from last week's, the, the, the delivery of it is entirely different. While last week felt a little rambling, this is all guided. At the last, of the ep last episode, uh, Mrs. Salazar was taken, Nick was taken, um, and Liza jumped on the back of the hospital uh, truck and left off with them, leaving our group to ponder what is going on and to fear for their safety. This motivates everyone, from the opening scene of Ophelia throwing bottles at the, uh, uh, at the soldiers, um, to Maddie's uh, just strong performance. She is just willing to, to grip, to go, to follow Daniel wherever it needs to in order to get Nick back. Even Travis turns around and, and is on board. He is immediately going after the lieutenant. I need my kids. I need my ex-wife. We need to get this going or there's going to be trouble. The soldiers are starting to fall apart. It's only been 10 days, but as pointed out in, in the episode, they're kids. They're not designed for that. Any gusto and manliness that they were able to put forth at the beginning of the crisis is all petering out as things fall apart. And indeed, they are. The soldiers are losing ground. Um, they're losing men. <laughs> and things are heading towards uh, the big crisis point. Um, Again, most of the episode pretty much deals with moving this forward. Uh, Reuben Blades, again, just very powerful in the subtlety of his performance and the intensity of relaying these depths of experience and the choices, the hard choices that he has had to make. Um, Maddie, again, with him, seeing that. And, and there's a lot more great uh, evolution uh, of the characters in this one as well. When Maddie hears a noise, she grabs a knife and goes downstairs. Thank you. People are starting to understand you need weapons. You need to take extreme caution with everything that you do. This is the new reality that they are moving into. Um, wonderful scene in the hospital uh, between uh, the closer, I'm not sure if they, he actually uh, was given a name at this point, um, and Nick. Uh, understanding that the new changes. Why did he save them? I didn't help you. I obligated you. We are starting to see the new realities, the new interactions that people are going to have to take in order to survive. Um, they've made some hard choices and it is now barreling forward to the end. Uh, the call sign of Cobalt has been given. The soldiers are pulling out and they have a plan to humanitarily euthanize the population, um, which is not going to be good for everyone else. They know this. We've got one episode left to go. 
we're going to see it all come apart. Oh, and a wonderful, beautiful scene of uh, Daniel Salazar going up to the gates of the stadium and hearing the undead rattle behind and the doors pushing. Um, and that's a great sign, I think, of, of the intensity behind this episode and what is to come. The dead are pushing at. You haven't seen them, but when they come out, it is going to explode. Um, and I can't wait to do it. There is one episode left, one episode left of Fear the Walking Dead. If they take the intensity and motivation of this episode and throw in the actual undead, we get some great zombie action. I, I think this is going to be a wonderful uh, ending of this, this first uh, season. Um, so we just have to see. They've got to get where heroes got to get together. They got to get supplies. They've got to get to the hospital. It's only like 15 minutes away, uh, but all of that's about to to fall apart. So they got to move, and they have to move quick. We're gonna see you next week. We're gonna go over it. I hope you enjoyed the episode as much as I. I'm D. If you enjoyed what I had to say, please press like. Feel free to subscribe. Comments in the section below. And we will see you for the big finale next week. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.